to 28 weeks, baby's movement may not be very predictable. Sometimes babies are really active, sometimes they're resting. As your pregnancy progresses, particularly in the third trimester, you're going to want to keep a close eye on fetal movements. So this is when the fetal movement becomes a little bit more prominent. You're going to start to feel full body turns as your baby's doing somersaults, a little kick, a little punch. Those kind of sensations are going to be more frequent. And we sometimes suggest that you do what we call fetal kick counts, which is actually where you're focusing on your baby's movements and getting used to what's normal for you and normal for your baby. Uh, after the baby started kicking, when I didn't feel the baby kick, it would make me a little bit nervous, but I think I, um, yeah, I found a lot of reassurance from feeling the baby kick. I, I do feel um, worrisome sometimes when the baby is not moving. There are moments when all of a sudden you'll, I'll feel a lot and then, you know, an hour or two goes by and I don't feel anything and it's like, oh, is everything okay? You often are distracted during the day and you may not feel the baby move as often. Uh, and if you're worried about that, lay down in a dark, quiet area and count. In the, a two hour period, you should feel the baby move 10 times. If you haven't, it's important to contact your doctor. And it's very important that you don't say, oh, I'll, I have an appointment the next day, I'll just follow up then. Any change in the fetal movement, particularly decreased fetal movement, is important to let your provider know.